everybody in today's video I've got the second part to my sticker organization um, sorry for sound a bit sniffly I have just this second got back in from taking the kids to school and it's cold so um, I'm gonna get on into this I've just got two uh, this is gonna be my functional kit uh, functional pieces so stuff like checklist boxes and stuff like that and that's all kept in this folder and then I have a small thing with all my foiled stickers in so to start off um, when I have any samplers or leftover pieces on kits that I want to keep I just uh, take all the sticker stuff off the backing and reuse it so I've just got a few bits of those so these are like the payday and shopping ones food and drink, cleaning, stuff to do with relaxing and Netflix, uh, me time sort of stuff and then just random bits and then these are the backing bits and then leftover flags and boxes. So to start I have my glitters, I have these all in colour so I've got some green ones from your world of colour um, I have a selection of blue ones, I've got Project Plan and some blue uh, woolly ones from Your World of Colour. I'll do this for because I stand. Um, I then have some pinks. Um, these are all sheets of mixed ones so i have the prompt planner autumn and christmas set um some vintage rose studios mixed ones and some leftover ones from a kit from your world of color then moving on to the word headers that usually come with kits um i've got blank on there these ones are the ones that have like a pattern behind them. So I've got ones left over from a Disney kit that I used from Temp Loves Crafts. And these were left over from my 4th of July kit from Tracy Ray's. And then in here I have um, just some neutral ones. So I've got like pinks and greys, uh, some from Toffee Bananas, uh, yeah, Toffee Bananas, Mac and Grey. I think these ones are Lucinda Charlotte or Harriet Wright Designs. So they're all like neutral and very light coloured ones. I then have ones for my bright colours, so Harriet Bright Designs and Your World of Colour and then this one is just all like autumn colours and dark colours Then I have uh, habit trackers. I've got some from Anything Elsie, uh, Lily Sky's Dream, and Petal Prints Ink. I have three heart checklists. So I've got Cho Cho and Mimi, uh, Ickle and Co, Crump Planner and Green Dana Designs. Then I have um, small boxes. These ones are just uh, some plain neutral ones. I've got Ickle & Co and Green Dana Designs. Then I have uh, glitter ones. Those are just from Pump Planner. I also have single heart ones. I don't, these are not quite quarter boxes, are they? They're like the size of a header. So I think these are all just Ickle Co as well as the same size in 
boxes as well. Then moving on to half boxes, I've got sort of like decorative type boxes and word ones. So I've got some camo ones from Green Darna Designs, to do ones from Mix Match Planner, scalloped ones from the Plump, the plump Planner, and the bow ones as well. I then have just plain half boxes. And then moving on to checklists. These are all my light coloured ones. Just left over from kits that I've used. Then I've got my bright coloured ones. We've got Lucinda Charlotte, Templar's Craft and Print. got more of the going a bit darker so the cinder charlotte green darna designs and prints just an array of checklists plan a face because i don't actually use a checklist on each day i only use them in my sidebar or if I've got like a shopping list to put down for that day then we've got more autumn -y and dark ones so listen to Charlotte Harriet Wright designs and prints then I have decorative ones so I've got Harriet Wright designs the Bifari ones uh, Kels Beth Plans. This came from her storybook kit. Um, I got that the wrong way around. Um, Wendy Prints has got a lovely leopard print in the background. Uh, Paper Chick Plans. These went with um, the Zodiac kit, I think. Um, some more from Kelsabeth Plans. This is from the Me Time kit. Paper Chick Plans. And another Kelsabeth one, the Hauntly Beautiful kit. And then these are more of your, I think they're the functional sheet where you get the half boxes and your Bildu stickers and your habit trackers. So most of these are probably Harriet Wright designs. Um, I have like my neutrals. So Harriet Wright designs, the Cinder Charlotte. That's what all those ones mainly are. So they're all my neutral ones. I then have just some plain coloured ones. So we've got Harriet Wright Designs, Paper Chip Plans, Cinder Charlotte, Mac and Grey, uh, Wendy Prince. Project Plan. Then have um, some bright ones for Harry Wright Designs, Paper Chip Plans, Planning with C, Lucinda Charlotte, and Templars Crafts. Then moving on to the more autumn -y, Christmassy type ones. So I have this sort of functional one from Harry Wright Designs. I also have quite a couple of her Christmas ones as well as the other functional. So I hope she brings this kit back so then I can use up those sheets. I also have an autumn one. Um, I think that was a Christmas one from Paper Chip Plans and I'm quite sure that's the one that goes with the Harry Potter kit that Harry Wright Designs had. These are bits that I could put to a kit instead of just taking a sticker off. Um, I've got a kit that I can use these with. 
this is from Toffee Bananas. Um, I do have um, a small personal size piece left for the kit, but these boxes, this was, um, I think it was just a free sampler type sheet from Green Dana Designs. Um, I've got this one, I don't know what this one's from, the shop's not wrote on it. Uh, this is from a personal sheet, this is from Harry Wright Designs and that's another one from another Harry Potter kit I think but that needs to go in there so that's those and then lastly in here I think I just have leftover deco so this is from Harry Wright Designs Planner Girl kit I think I used this the week before the girls went back to school and then this leftover from, I think it's the New York kit by the Plump Planner. So that is how I store all my leftovers and functional parts of a kit. And then moving on to my foils, I just keep them in one of these uh, Ziploc type A5 folders. Um, I don't have many foil pieces yet. I am on the Diamond Prince Designs PR team and she is a foiled shop so my collection might grow a bit. So I have a few little sheets. I have some gold foiled bows from Planning by Miss Eve. Um, I think these were in an oops bag from Lucinda Charlotte. I've got some left over from a in gold, uh, rose gold, but I don't think that's any good now because I don't have it for a week. I have a gold one and then another gold one. I have shopping and grocery script words from Planning by Miss Eve. Uh, a few leftover like washi type ones from Busy Bee Stickers. I have some gold foiled planning time ones from Planning by Miss Eve. Um, I have these sheets from Lucinda Charlotte. I think they're either freebies or in an oops bag. I have days of the week and date dots from HR Handmade. I have some silver foiled to do script from Diamond Prince Designs. I have her purple foiled bows, some of her mixed foiled um, quotes. I've got she believed she could, so she did. Love is such a beautiful chaos. She's unstoppable, beautiful mess, big dream, and choose happy. And I've uh, used two already. I put them on one of the more plain boxes. If I don't have like a quote box to put in the uh, sidebar, and then I have her. I think these are hollow foil hearts. So that is all my functional. Um, next week I will have up the video for how I store my kits. I have those stored a bit different. I have a setup for kits that I will be using and then I have a couple of folders for normal kits and seasonal ones. So that's how I store all my functional kits and i will see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed already please do so we'd love to have you here on the crafting family and um, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you wish i'd love to hear what you have to say and i will see you again